first wall of death was reported in 1919 at Coney Island and in the early you know 30s and 40s there was a bunch of these things riding around and carnivals and circuses and all kinds of side shows and stuff like that. We are in the center of the wall of death right now, my brother and I, Ives Brothers Wall of Death. We take old vintage Harley Davidsons up on the wall and have ourselves a good time. I believe that two wheels definitely made me and my brother's relationship a lot stronger and made us who we are and are the reason why we're so close. We're the exact same body type, share each other's clothes. If he gets something new, gets new shoes or something like that, I always steal them. So the thing about riding as brothers is I know what he's capable of doing and he also knows what I'm capable of doing. So when we ride, we sometimes don't even have to set up a routine. We are out here at Daytona Bike Week. Once the day is all done and over with, we go out and we go uh, hit up all the cool little restaurants. Hit up the beach, go over to the famous Iron Horse, go check out all the famous saloons that are around here and the beautiful weather. Right now it's perfect outside to be on a motorcycle. Something that's a little different with our Wall of Death show is we kind of try to stick to the all Harley routine. We love Harley-Davidson motorcycles. The power to the new Dynas today are just, they're incredible. They got way bigger engine, uh, six-speed transmission. Coming off the showroom floor, they're, they're the perfect power. They're the perfect look, feel, everything. So they're just, they're, they're a badass bike. Me and my brother would like to be known as the guys that never really listened to anybody and kind of sucked to our own roots and did it our own way. I feel like we changed the way the wall of death is looked at. I think that we've opened it up and brought it to a lot of people's eyes that would have never had the opportunity to see anything like this. Hopefully that our job is in riding the wall, that we can bring it back and reach out and touch the younger generation and try and bring this old sport back to life and, and keep it around for years to come so maybe our grandkids can see it and keep it alive, keep it going. Yeah.